We've been working hard today, little man. Huh? Break time for a minute. Sound like a winner to me. One day you'll be able to run that tiller. Hey guys, uh, final day here of tilling. It has not uh, rained like we hope it. We were wanting it to rain a little bit and then do the final tilling. Uh, we tilled long ways. You saw that after the plowing and uh, we tilled crossways and we were hoping it would rain. It didn't do that. It's been about a week now and uh, Landon wants to help me do the final tilling. It should be smooth enough for him to help do it now. Landon wanted to do it by himself, but of course we can't have that. So uh, we're going to tell it one last time to get it fine and broke up uh, going the direction the rows are going to do, get the weed fabric, hopefully get that down today. Uh, Angela and Laura will be here helping us in a little while. So uh, stay tuned with us and let's get that done. <laughs> Y'all have to stay tuned to the end of this, to the extra, so that you can see Angela's um, craziness. Well, you'll see. I know some of you guys may be thinking I'm over tilling it, but eh, to each their own. If some people till it this much, some people don't. This is virgin soil, so uh, you saw us moving it around. So it's, it's gotten good and stirred. It's getting breathe, breathe, breathable, breathability. Getting a lot of air to it, a lot of oxygen to it. And breaking up a lot of the clumps, getting a lot of the rocks out of it. You agree with me, Henry? What you getting? That's my boy. That's my big helper, aren't you? Break time again? That's right. The tug of war match of the century. Henry does good about being gentle with him. And whether you think he's being gentle or not, you ought to watch him play tug of war with me or my two boys. Trust me, he's being gentle. <laughs> He can let him play by himself now. Little toothpicks for Henry, isn't it? Little toothpicks. <laughs> Henry loves them babies too. I ain't gonna lay down shoe on it now. He thinks he won, Bubba. Henry. Henry what? I win too. Yes, right, you won. You let him have it, didn't you? That's right. Henry win, I win. Both of you won, that's right. I tell you what, it's been a little brisk today. It's um it's in the eighties. It's been in the eighties. It's down in the I think it's like sixty today with a cool wind blowing. Uh and I'm standing in the sun so it doesn't bother me, but you get over there in the shade. It's a little chilly. I said Georgia weather for you. <laughs> if you don't like it, Grandpa said just wait, it'll change. Hey guys, uh, you gotta do this thing like this again. Yes, I'm do it like this. It works out better because of the height. <laughs> All right, we've got the uh, tilling done. Angela's been over there doing some more weeding in the raised garden beds. The uh, we're gonna put out some of the weed fabric now. Now we got what size weed fabric we got? Six foot by three hundred foot. 
six foot wide by 300 foot. We do have the weed fabric from last year, but, uh, and we're gonna use that in the raised beds and some other places around the property. We got a little carried away burning the holes last year. We just wanted the big, uh, the weed burning torches uh, last year. And the holes are kind of big. They're kind of big. So, um, but we are gonna use that in other places. We're not gonna waste it. You saw me pulling it up earlier here in the video. Um, but we got six foot wide uh, this time. We picked it up off of eBay. You know, several people have recommended getting it from some of our, you know, from Grower Solutions and some other places. And you can get it from there. They have it in stock. Um, but the cheapest place Angela found it by far was off of eBay. So uh, if you're interested in the six foot wide fabric, uh, you can save yourself in staples as well, and you can save yourself in time and hassle. If you want to get six foot wide, check it out on eBay. So we're going to be rolling that out here and getting it stapled down. And it's the DeWitt, the one that everybody's been buying. It's the same brand. All right, guys, let's get it put down. Henry, move. Henry, come on. Get off. He'll be laying down. He's He's already laid down. <laughs> they were dirty. Told you that, Henry. Get off. <laughs> you see him second one? You see. <laughs> I guess I'll hold it down. Yeah, he appreciates us putting that putting this down for him, Mama. A good job too. Look at that big girl. You rolled over your foot. All right, guys, this is the next day, and I'm sure you can see behind me, we put four rows of the six-foot uh, weed barrier out last night. Put what we thought was plenty of staples in there, and, you know, we show you like it is here on the channel, but well, check that out. Row number two. Row number three. Row number two pulled out. Row number two pulled out almost halfway down. And of course you overlap the rows, so you have row number one, row number two, we overlapped about six inches on the row number one. And in row number three, we overlapped about six inches on the row number two. And number four, we overlapped about six inches on the row number three. A little bit disheartening when we walked out this morning. I have horrible arthritis, guys, um, especially in my knees. I have no cartilage left in there, a lot of bone loss, and uh, it's very painful to put that out, do any kind of squatting walking in that uneven surfaces it's very it was very painful last night to put that out so it came out it's very disheartening but um nothing to do about it we'll get out here and figure out what went wrong why we didn't put in you know we thought we put plenty of the staples down the staples were in soft dirt maybe that had something to do with it um the staples were very expensive uh, next year i'm gonna make some of my own make them longer make them just out of uh you know, a nine gauge wire or something to that effect, or, you know, a 12 gauge wire, because those staples, we spent like $70 on staples from Home Depot or Lowe's. We could have probably shop, shopped around and found them cheaper, but those staples for these things, they're expensive, the landscape fabric staples. So maybe they were too short for that soft soil, but let's see if we can get figured out and get this fixed. And, you know, one thing I didn't say, you know, I have, I mentioned I had the arthritis, but one thing I do want to say is that my wife, you guys, if you've been following this channel you know what my wife has been through in the last three four five six months she was out here with me the whole step of the way yesterday 
um, bending over, putting in as many staples as she could into this fabric. I'm um, helping the kid. kids were out here putting staples in the fabric. Y'all saw that in the videos as we fast forwarded through them, but they were all grandkids. They were all here the whole step of the way. So it wasn't just me. I don't want to act like I'm giving a sob story. You do what you do. That's what you do with your homesteaders. I was just talking about what happened and why it was a little bit disheartening, but it's just disheartening for them, especially Angela. She was in so much pain last night and this morning for bending over, standing up and uh, doing more than she should have done yesterday. But you know, that strengthens your, strengthens everybody, strengthens your soul a little bit too when you just getting out here and getting it done. So let's go fix it. Come on. Well, you know, one thing I found a minute ago in the truck, actually, that I thought I had thrown away on accident when I took the trash out, are the old stakes that we pulled out. I'll link that video up here in the, over my left shoulder where we pulled them all out from last year's garden. Now they're rusty and dirty. Nothing wrong with them though. Maybe they'll stick in the ground a little bit better. guys we uh there was something angela and i discovered about the six foot roll of fabric we don't know if that runs true with the three foot roll because you see the three foot rolls real wide still from last year but I'll tell you about that here in just a second all right so if you can see right here kind of in the middle there where it's kind of like folded over it's like some crazy person got a hold of it it wouldn't that last roll would not roll out straight he kept having to pull it over and pull it over and it was really we don't know if like it got down to the last of the roll and they like rolled it on crooked um i mean the fabric's fine it just was that last row was much harder to get off um so if you can see what i'm talking about right there he had to do that in a couple spots i think i think there's one up there where he's got a little fold and but I mean, it's not going to affect anything as far as us planting on it. It was just kind of a pain and we were having a hard time getting it finished last night. You didn't see that in the video because we our battery ran dead. So you didn't see the rest of it. This is what it looks like finished up. Well, at least with the, the weave fabric. Back up a little bit. That's what it looks like all finished. We might end up adding some more staples. We came out earlier, had blown up some. So we added a bunch. So anyways, so we're gonna end up burning the holes. We might plant the seeds and then do the irrigation. We might do the irrigation and then plant the seeds. We hadn't quite decided, but we are gonna burn the holes before we do the irrigation. So stay tuned for that. Hey guys. Well you know, we appreciate y'all coming out and watching another series of... My face is crooked, I'm telling you. <laughs> Look at my smile. It's freaking crooked. What do y'all think about that? My smile is crooked. I told him the other day. <laughs> he thought I was crazy. But look, this side's down, this side's up. She has a beautiful face. Her smile's not crooked. Y'all tell her that. <laughs> it is. Look at it. Look at it. Look, I can't even... Y'all, just... <laughs> Don't I look much better with her beside me? I mean, come on. That's not it. There's something wrong with my face. I'm telling no, you. No, there's nothing wrong with your face, baby. Okay. All right. You don't have to put that in there. Back to where we were. Uh, listen, we really appreciate you guys coming out and uh, watching another video. Hopefully, you enjoyed another video of us uh, working in the garden. Um, of course, we work at a little bit different pace than <laughs> many most people. people. Probably most people. <laughs> well, you probably say. Our pace is much slower. Unfortunately, I mean, I wish I was not in our, we weren't in our mid-40s and moving at a grandma's 
grandma's pace. Uh, actually, there are grandmas that can outrun me. So yeah. just gonna now, say. Believe it or not, we did not film this video in slow motion. Now y'all might have thought it was filmed in slow motion, but it wasn't filmed in slow motion, guys. It took us that long to do stuff. But um, all joking aside, you know, it's never too late to garden, and that's what this little series is about. We're behind the ball on gardening, but, Angela, what was the temperature last night here in Georgia? 31 degrees. So, Hard so we're frost not last really night. behind the ball at all. So we don't call it behind the ball. If we'd had our plants in the ground, we would have been covering them up, or they all would have been gone. Gone and dead. So um, we've got all the tarp down. Uh, we've got the weed tarp down, and um, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Uh, I, Angela mentioned to you what our next steps were a few minutes ago, and uh, we're going to be rolling out here tomorrow to try to get some more of that done. We are taking it step by step, um, and that is what we told you guys. That that's all you have to do. Don't worry about where you are in the game, how far behind you are in the ball game, and what the score is. Do it at your pace and just get it done step by step. Thanks, guys. We love you. Well, guys, the antics with our weed fabric are not over yet. Stay tuned for our next video.